So on this slide, we describe the irreducibility of the space. So we will associate irreducibility with some algebra. So the starting point is say a set X and uh, most likely the set will be a, a fine algebraic set. So for now consider X as a non-empty topological space. And we want to give a definition of when this set X is irreducible. So, so if you write space X as a union of two closed sets U1 and U2 then either X is U1 or X is U2. So let us write this down. So if you are able to write X as union of two sets U1 and U2 both U1 and U2 are closed. Then if X is irreducible we will have either X has to be equal to U1 or X has to be equal to U2. So it has to be equal to either one of them. So if it is equal to U1, U2 will be empty. If it is equal to U2, U1 will be an empty set. So the proposition which we want to talk about is, so if X is an affine algebraic set, and X is irreducible. Then the ideal associated with X is a prime ideal. So this I of X is prime. Now obviously this would imply by algebra that uh, the ring of regular functions which we defined using this ideal of the vanishing set, this ring is integral. Okay. So let us start in one direction. You start with x, you assume it to be irreducible. So consider these two polynomials f and g, they both f times g belongs to ideal of x. So in order to prove i x is prime, we have to show that either f or g lies in i of x. So you know this relationship, x is equal to vanishing set of ideal of x. But ideal of x itself is a union of vanishing set of f and vanishing set of g. So this comes from the product because fg lies in ideal of x then you get this uh, reverse inclusion map. So this we have talked before in fact we had um, yeah so why it is a union because either f is 0 then f times g will be 0 if g is 0 f times g, f times g is 0 so you just have to have union. So since x is irreducible, now x can only be written like this. Yeah, so it has to be contained. So for uh, making that inequality equality, we write it like this. But x is irreducible. So it has to be equal to either uh, vf intersection x or VG intersection X and without loss of gener general, uh, generality we take it as VF intersection X. Now obviously that would mean that X is contained in V of F and that would mean that F belongs to ideal of X and that is what we wanted to prove. Now in the reverse direction. So this reverse direction we will prove by contradiction. So suppose this ideal of X is prime and x is also reducible that is you can express x as a union of two sets and both of which are non-empty v1 is closed and v2 is closed both of them are non-empty that is both v1 is a proper subset of x and v2 also is a proper subset of x 
So now let us consider two polynomials. The first belongs to, now obviously since V belongs to X, you have, you apply the ideal, it is the reverse inclusion. So ideal of V1 contains ideal of X. And therefore you can find polynomials F1 and F2 which lie in ideal of V1 and ideal of V2 but they do not lie in ideal of X. But since V1 and V2 cover X, you obviously will have F1 or F2 equals to 0. Yeah? Either F1 will vanish or F2 will vanish because X is completely covered by sets V1 and V2. So therefore F1 times F2 belongs to ideal of X because it vanishes on X. But this is a contradiction because Ix is prime and we had F1 and F2 did not lie in act I of X, did not lie in the ideal associated with the algebraic set X, but their product does. Now we will give you a quick example. So ideal of Kn is 0. This we have shown before for K infinite. Notice that if you take K finite, uh, then this ideal may not be 0. Yeah, so this 0 is prime. This is because uh, this 0 is contained in a ring, uh, in this ring, k of x1 to xn, and this ring is integral. So 0 is the prime ideal. Why? Because this ring itself is integral. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. So in this proposition, we want to talk about a Noetherian topological space and say a subset of a Noetherian topological space can be decomposed into its irreducible components and that too uniquely. So this will make more sense as I write it down. So you start with X as a Noetherian topological space. Now if you do not know what a Noetherian topological space is, stop here and see Wikipedia. It has a beautiful definition and motivation for Noetherian topological space and we will use that in the proof. So consider Y as a non-empty closed subset of the space X. So we prove two things. A. This Y can be written as a union. So we can write it as a union of y1 which will be irreducible, then union of y2 all the way to union of yr. Each of these elements is irreducible. So I should be writing yi as irreducible here but I have written yi as unique because in part b we will just say this that the decomposition is unique. Now uh, we will not prove part b here. The proof is already given in Hartshorn and uh, you should try it as an exercise. It's uh, there's not much in it except playing with the union sign. So the proof we will do only part A, which is existence. So the proof relies essentially on the definition of Noetherian topological space. So you start with the set S. So this set S consists of non-empty closed subsets of x. So you have these, you take all these non-empty closed subsets of x, just like the set y we fixed in the statement of the proposition. But uh, these sets should have the special property that they are not finite union of irreducible closed subsets, that they are not of the form A. They could be anything else but not of form A. So they could be uh, infinite union yeah, or finite union of something which is reducible and so on. They are anything but part A. Now the idea is that this set S will have a minimal element and uh, it will have a minimal element precisely because space X is a Noetherian topological space. So this will have a minimal element Y. Now if you have already seen the definition in Wikipedia, you will know why it has a minimal element. 
so we call this minimal element as y yeah because this uh, space x is notarian and you have this decreasing sequence of spaces which stabilize so this stabilize and you have the corresponding sequence of ideals you notice the reverse inclusion signs this also stabilizes in a notarian ring so why cannot be written as a finite union of irreducible closed subsets okay so why cannot be written as a finite union of irreducible closed subsets but it can be union of some other sets so there are some two other sets y and y double prime yeah so y is not irreducible just like it has a property of set s and it is also a minimal element so since y is minimal that means if y you are writing as a union of two other sets then those two other sets cannot belong to so y prime comma y double prime it should be a comma here they do not belong to s because y is minimal now if they do not belong to s so let me write this down both of them do not belong to s now if they do not belong to s they obviously now can be written as a finite union of irreducible closed sets so if y prime and y double prime are finite union of irreducible closed sets this would automatically imply that y is also a union of irreducible closed sets yeah and that is what is the contradiction and thus we cannot construct this set s and therefore we can write every non empty closed subset of a noetherian topological space as a union of its irreducible components and part b says that this decomposition is unique again it is i will say it is given on page 5 of hatcher uh, sorry hartshorn 